I'm Patty Fernandez and I'm an art teacher. Visit my website at pattyfernandezartist.com. Okay, let's draw. Today's project is how to draw a drought. I take two fingers over here on the left and I'm going to put a dot. And this is going to be our horizon line between the sky and the land. So we do a slightly wavy, wavy line all the way over from left to right. Then I'm going to include a bank of clouds that go across the top of the sky. So I do wavy line, wavy line over, connect. We're going to do an overlap. Wavy line, wavy line over, connect. Right above it, we're going to do a baby one. Wavy line, connect. Now when you do geography or sky or anything that is natural, you can pretty much not worry about anything having to look exactly the same. So all of us are going to have different clouds. All of us are going to have different land once we start doing the drought part. Okay, so really all I'm doing is wavy, wavy lines. And right above, I'm just going to put a wavy, wavy connect. Wavy line connect. But I'm working my way over to the other side of my paper. You can break it up and put some curves in there if you want. You can put a little wavy line behind. But basically we're doing what we call a cloud bank all the way over. Now, this is the horizon line. This is the sky. This whole section down here now is going to be doing the drought land after it has cracked. So we're going to do a great big curved line, wavy line, off the page to start. Right next to it, we're going to try and keep that same size, but again, it doesn't matter how you do your wavy line or your curved line going across. The main thing is we're trying to set up our paper with our foreground, middle ground, and our background. So everything's going to start getting smaller. So now we do this line of cracked soil and all I'm doing are wavy lines curve lines from one side to the other off the page you keep going until you fill up this whole entire space with nothing but cracked earth because that's what happens when we have a drought a drought is when there's a lack of precipitation, rain, over an extended period of time, usually more than a season, resulting in a water, water shortage in the environment, which is what we're experiencing in the California, Southwest, really bad. So now we're getting smaller, curve line, wavy line, Curve line, wavy line, off the page. Keep going. I think I can put one more line because pretty soon we're going to just do wavy lines. You'll see. Everybody's is going to look different, which is great. But the main focus now is to fill up the rest of this. See how I'm just duplicating the space and the line that I've already done. As you look further and further away you don't see the distinct cracking like we did, uh, did up front here but you still see that it goes all the way to the horizon line in other words there's not going to be a tree all of a sudden or grass or anything like that so you just keep going keep going keep going and it's very important to bring these all the way up to the horizon line so that when your eye looks at your drawing, you can see that it's nothing but dried, cracked earth all the way up to the sky. Okay? There we go. All right. Now, we're going to color quite a bit, so let's see how we're going to color this in. 
Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to color in my sky. And I'm using a regular blue, and I'm coloring pretty dark because I really want my cloud bank to show. So, very carefully, I'm coloring pretty dark blue around my clouds. Now, you will do a way better job than me, but I want you to get the right idea. So we're going to color dark blue all the way across. Now, that dark blue is important because that's going to show you a heavy contrast against the white of the clouds and our parched, dried, cracked earth. So we bring it all the way down to the horizon line and we're going to just do a really, really dark blue. And like I said, you guys will take your time, work your color better than me. I always have a time restraint when I make these. So you can see I go out the lines and I might not color everything as dark as I should. Okay. So there's our horizon line, there's our cloud banks, and there's our sky. Now, the next thing is when I always wish everybody had some multicultural crayons because they come in all different color, browns, peaches, apricots. Because working light to dark, I want you to take that crayon, if you have peach or tan, and color right next, put a line of color, right next the black line that you already drew. Now, somebody's going to say, hey, I don't have tan or apricot or any of those fancy crayons. Then I suggest you take out your yellow. I hope you haven't lost it. Take out your yellow. Use your yellow just like I'm using this color right now. See, because basically you do have the right colors. I'm just getting a little fancy. Now, when you get up to the lines, these are easy because all you do is just put a line of color going all the way across. We always work light to dark. So if you're using yellow, you use yellow. If you're using apricot, use whatever. Now, I take the side of my crayon and I just add a little bit of color right there. Okay? Next. If you have a tan, or I think this is sienna, I don't know, it's just brown. Take your brown crayon and let's go over everything again. And again, you're just putting a line of color next to the black that you already did. So you don't have to think, but you do want to try and hit all of these. You know, the emphasis is that you want to show how cracked the earth is from this horrible drought that we're going through. And it's pretty amazing. It's like Mother Nature has her own patterns even in uh, the ground. Okay? So bring that over. Okay? Now take the side of a brown crayon and just go over the tops of the other ones. Now if you don't have that brown, you should have a brown. Uh, you can also use an orange and then use brown. The last thing you want to do is take a black, go over some of these lines so they don't look so methodical. Okay, don't go crazy. We've talked about using black too much. Just do some of the lines. You don't have to do all of the lines. Okay? And the last thing I'm going to do, if it looks a little too pale, take your brown and just color inside the spaces. Not a lot, just to give you a little bit of texture. Mine looked a little too white. And these droughts have been very, very intense on the Earth's surface really looks dried up and cracked. Okay, let's see what this looks like all colored in. 
Okay, here is my drought all colored in. It's been really, really bad over here in the southwest in California. Just horrible. No rain, cracked earth, bad news. Climate change. Okay, bye-bye.